Hey everyone, I just wanted to say this is going to be the first of a three part video. Basically, I'm a bit obsessed with bridal makeup at the moment, so part one, which is the first video, will be classic bridal makeup, just you know, a beautiful version of yourself. Uh, look two will be a retro, funky, you know, for the crazy type of wedding. And the third look, look three, will be an Asian inspired bridal makeup, full head work, everything. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that one the most, so I'm going to save it till last. Anyway, hope you enjoy my videos. Right, so I'm just starting off with my eyebrows, just filling them in with a brown pencil. Then I'm going to add my concealer just above and below arch of my eyebrow and then I just blend that in. I'm then going to take the same concealer and uh, put that over my eyelids and then I'm gonna put painterly over the top and then blend the two in. Next I'm taking Sushi Flower by MAC and I'm just going to use that as a pink base. I mean you can use any pink but we'll just do the same. I I'm then taking the lightest brown shade in my eyeshadow quad and I'm just going to work that into the crease just to soften the pink and blend well. I'm then going to use the chocolate brown shade and a small fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to go over that. A light brown shade just to define the crease a bit more and remember to blend well afterwards. I'm just going over that brown shade with a larger fluffy uh, blending brush just to make sure that it's really blended in, in preparation for the light pink colour to go on top. And then taking Rule by MAC as my transition colour and I'm going to use my 224 blending brush and just work that over the top of the brown eyeshadow. I'm then going to take my Victoria Jackson palette and I'm going to use the pale pink uh, colour and the shimmery version of the pale pink colour and I'm going to use the matte one first just as a base down and blend that in and then I'm going to go over with the shimmery shade in that one and <laughs> work that on top of the colour just so it's a nice divined pale pink lid and then I'm going to blend that with my 224 brush. Using my usual liquid eyeliner, I'm just going to do a very small line and a flick because I like a flick, but obviously it's personal preference, but I would suggest doing quite a thin line for a natural wedding look. I'm going to use the most natural lashes, which are quite short. I put mascara on the top and you cannot tell the difference. And then I just go over the seam of the lashes with my liquid eyeliner just to finish that off. Just for added definition, I'm going to tight line my eyes and I'm going along the bottom waterline with a natural sort of brown and mascara on bottom lashes as well. Now onto the skin, I use baby skin primer, just a tiny amount and I just rub it through my nose, my chin and my forehead before applying my foundation which are the same as always. And I'm just going to work that in with my usual uh, real techniques brush. I'm using my sleek uh, contour palette and I'm going to use the lightest shade excuse the mess I use a beauty blender in it <laughs> and the powder uh, just to my eyes and on my chin I'm then using a concealer stick from a uh, collection and it's in shade 2 and I'm just going to go over uh, the points that I want to be the lightest and using a beauty blender I'm just going to work that in and then I'm going to go over that with my foundation brush just to blend in the harsh edges and I also use the foundation brush into the hard to reach places. I'm using a powder puff with a translucent powder and the sleek powder just as something to set my uh, highlight with. Taking the chocolate brown shade again I'm just going to do a slight contour, I'm not going to take it too far down. I'm just going to blend that in with a fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go over everything again with my foundation brush just to put everything in place so it looks lovely and glowing 
and then going to take gold deposit mineralized skin finish and i'm just going to put that in a c shape sort of as my highlighter area and just slightly above my eyebrow just for an added glow and blend in well with a i'm using a blusher brush to blend this one in and i've pinched it just to get a bit more control and then taking a pale pink blush shade and i'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and dragging it sort of backwards Oh, and that's upside down, that's my lipstick, it's shade 700 by Rimmel and I'm just going to use that underneath my accessorised lip gloss uh, just to create a sort of pearlescent pink and healthy spray of Fix Plus <laughs> and that's my face done, now onto the hair so basically I've tucked the back bit of my hair away in a clip and I've sectioned the front sort of like a fringe, large fringe area and I'm just using my straighteners just to make quite large uh, ringlets in the front I'm just doing that all over until I'm happy with where I've got my ringlets the size the shape etc but if I turn my back on my face to help you face yours will you return the favor the time is off but if it's worth the wait I'll write down every single thing and after about 20 minutes of that <laughs> I finally came up with the shape I was happy with I loosened a bit of the curls and added a tiara for a bit of an effect and that's look number one and also for those of you who don't like curls I've done it straight as well I hope you've all enjoyed watching my video thanks again bye and let me grow if you're with me then let me know if there's anything that might go wrong no hold on just let it go i'm frightened you might end up as just another girl with a heart i sit a lot but every day is another chance to get it right but still